light of the thought comes from a different angle. Um, I wasn't quite sure what I was, why I was asked to be up here and, and, and give this little talk, um, and who actually volunteered uh, me to do this talk. And then I remembered it was somebody on a much higher level, um, Diane, she's busy flying from uh, um, Montreal to Dallas. So. It reminded me of something, and that was last week's Pasha was, was Noah. And uh, he didn't know also, he suddenly was busy, a man of 700 years old, uh, busy in his back garden, doing some carpentry work or something like that. And uh, the next thing is he hears this noise, and uh, the guy says, uh, Noah. And he looks around, and he looks around, and um, he says, who is this? And the voice says, it's Hashem. And he looks around and he looks and he starts smiling and he says, what do you want? He says to him, uh, I want you to build an ark. So he looks around and he looks around and he says, what's an ark? He says, I want you to build an ark. It's 300 cubits by 50 cubits by 30 cubits. And he looks around and he says, um, what's a cubit? He says, never mind, I used to know what a cubit is, but I want you to build an ark. He looks around again and he says, who is this really? He says, am I on candid camera? <laughs> Eventually he says to Noah, I want you to build this ark. He says, and I want you to, to pack on this ark two animals, um, of all the kosher animals, male and female. He says, and uh, he says, why, why do I have to build this? And he starts arguing with him and he starts, oh sorry Rebbe, how much time have I got? 120 <laughs> years to build the ark. So eventually he says to him, uh, you put all the animals in the ark and eventually all the animals come into the ark. And um, he starts arguing with God again and he says, look at the mess they're making here at the bottom and everything like that. He says to him, Noah, he says, how long can you tread water? <laughs> so that's where I am with this speech over here, I'm treading, I'm treading a little bit of water. <laughs> Something that's special for us at Shabbos and has been for many, many years is that um, we've all, and it, it happened to me when I was in the army, and that was always going to strangers for Shabbos supper. When you're away from your family, there's nothing nicer than being invited to a, a Jewish home to have a nice Shabbos supper. And we've tried in Pretoria. Um, from the times when Diane was working at the embassy and we had all these foreign musicians and actors and just new uh, people coming to Pretoria, whether they were coming to lecture or whatever, to try as best as we could to invite them to our home for Shabbos. And uh, we've met some incredible people. And um, also when we came to Pretoria as, you know, as new residents here, the same opportunity was afforded to us from many of the community inviting us for, for Shabbos. And that's something that sticks in my mind and just thank everybody and hope that those people that we've invited to our house uh, that hadn't had family here also appreciated it. Thank you.